This is the fourth video on the downtown Canastota tree removal uh, in violation of SECA regulations. I'm going to hop out of the car here. I'll measure a couple of these trees for the record. about an 18 inch 18 inch diameter tree maybe a little it's irregular so maybe a little bit less that's in front of the uh, Cocotranus and the wor and the worship area This tree is 21 inch, approximately 21 inches. Look at the growth on that. This is the tree that was near the bank parking lot. This is where I saw the, the root right about. I will paste it off. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, thirty 30 feet right here. This is where I saw the tree root. 30 feet from that tree. This is where the Onondaga Water Authority was digging. We won't measure that one because that's coming down. That's the one we paid for. My family did. There's the tree that I planted that they say will only be pruned. This shows the extent of heaving. It's not that, really not that bad. Could have been easily accommodated. Unbelievable growth rate. Right? Good growth. We'll hit a couple more here. I have I've taken photographs of this streetscape with all the trees here and it was beautiful streetscape. I went to a downtown I went to seminars on improving downtown and that's exactly what they recommended. They put flower pots in the middle here in the summer and trees and that's exactly what they recommended to improve your downtown. This tree was wounded 20 years ago by the payloader and it grew fine. But he even left that. It was slated for removal. Could have left it. And you see there's very little heaving by the roots of the sidewalk. Even though it was badly wounded, it probably was a perfect tree. It was stunted. Here's another another tree. Uh, let's see, approximately 12 inch. It's about a 12 inch tree. Again, just a little bit of lifting right around, right around the roots. Not bad. Now, I want to call your attention to this. These leaves are not these are not leaves from the honey locust tree. They're on the sidewalk. They're leaves from the next to the post office, the little village park across the street. That means these leaves fell probably a month ago, two months ago rather. Maybe they fell three months ago. They're still on the sidewalk. This substantiates my statement that the village didn't uphold their responsibility and that's part of the cause of the tree demise. Here's another tree. This one had a wound. I didn't notice that before. This one is about a 15 inch tree roughly. And there's a big one over here we'll go to. Now this was heaved a little bit here. The sidewalk was heaved. You can see some heaving. Oh, let's see, get a better measurement. Yeah, it's about a 4, 13, 13 inch tree. This is where Aqua dug up the sidewalk. Again, no trees. And all the trees had the thousands of, maybe millions, I don't know, of those little 
Christmas lights. White Christmas lights and it looked beautiful lit up. The trees reach pretty much to the top of that building right there. The, the branches probably came a little bit above it. So they were quite tall trees and, and they and they uh let's see this one's about it's about an 18, 19 inch tree. The three-story buildings are the ones that are going to feel the heat the most. There's an afternoon sun. shows you how the afternoon sun comes right down on the face of the buildings. The tenants in those buildings, I think, will regret the fact that those trees were taken down. There are three trees in front of that. There's three trees in that block, you can see. And that tree... That tree was away from the building, it really didn't have to come down. That was probably heaving more than anything. That's in the earlier video. We have the Erie Canal Museum, the Boxing Hall of Fame, the International Boxing Hall of Fame. We have several trails, the Erie Canal Trail, the Link Trail, North Country Trail connections. Canastota has a lot going for it. Unfortunately, it took down all the me all the source of downtown comfort for visitors and tourists and residents alike. It could have didn't have to happen. It didn't have to happen. It shouldn't have happened. Yeah, that tree. Village I planted that tree too as part of that little park forty years ago. I guess you can say I like trees and I get upset when people try to take them down unnecessarily and against all common sense and good environmental practices. <laughs>